You're right. I think more things will move online, but will everything move online completely? I don't think so yet. I think there are. I think there is still a great need for face-to-face -face teaching, and that's not ever since COVID is 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 arrived. That that's that's always always been my my honest professional or uh, or I'm um, you know I I don't think online learning is for everybody and it's 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 uh, but you know it I think you will you will have more things online I think online learning is online learning has its place it really really does but it, at the end of the day it can't replace the the um the relation you know the, the some you know the social interaction when you go to a real classroom it's 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 um, not the same going to a real classroom as 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 interacting on zoom with about 10 people even though it's virtual even though it's a, a good virtual reality experience as such you know, I'm not. I'm not slating it, and I think it will get bigger. I think that the online learning, um, uh, you know, online learning educational opportunities have its has its has its place. But so does uh, face to face, real life, uh, in interaction. You know, going to a centre, um, you know, and actually physically interacting with your classmates in real life. You know, I think it still has a strong, strong place. And I don't think it'll go away anytime soon. Uh, but I do agree with Will. I think more things will move online, more um, educational opportunities. And it's, and it's, and it's, um, I think, I think it certainly has its place. But I also think that normal teachers, you know, normal, normal um, face to face teaching in a classroom. You know, or a lecture room, just trying to count the university students in there, and uh, it still has its place very, very strongly, and uh, it can be replaced with necessarily online for a lot of people. You know, there are there are people that really benefit for you know to have a real to have a teacher, you know, to have that classroom assistant beside you, to have you know to 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 they actually really really benefit from actually going to a you know a real life um building and uh studying in in the actual classroom instead of online online teaching is not for everybody but it is for some people so i'm not necessarily slating the online in the online learning industry i'm just saying it's not for everyone and i think that has to be realized yeah what, what i'm what I was getting at was how how my sort of conversation started, or the things I go on about started. Uh, let, well, let's say a couple of years ago, hmm. uh, when, for example, uh, Peter Horrocks, who at that time was vice chancellor of the Open University, hmm. he spoke in Durham about the Fortress University right. way of describing the existing campus, right, which okay. he he thought was fairly closed down, hmm. and he thought that going online particularly uh, FutureLearn, the MOOC platform, yeah. uh, was a way of opening it up. Right. And so he wasn't saying that the MOOC was a total alternative to campus education. Okay. Um, but since then, uh, there have been more modules or con contributions towards a degree that have been recognised. Okay. And there's also online degrees which are possible in, in some subjects. Mm. Um, and I, I've since since that time, which I think was about two years ago, maybe a bit more now. Um, I just think it's worth looking again at that because uh, the Guardian, for example, was fairly dismissive of what he was saying, mm. and he did have to resign because the um, the Open University staff were very unconvinced right. about all the money being wasted, or as they saw it, or some would say, yeah. um, going in the direction of future learn. Whereas now. They are charging for certificates, and some degrees are being offered through the same platform. And um, mm. they're—I don't know how viable they are, but certainly Coursera, which is, is the American, an American one, 
mm. is regarded as as viable right. and in, indeed there's some academics worried about how much money is being made by mm. some of these platforms so I, I think it's worth going back to look at what Peter Horrocks was saying a few years ago so I, I'm sort of going on in that way but what's, what's going on at the moment I think it's terrible I, I quite agree there's, there's lots of students who are in very difficult situations yeah in the room um, but I, I think there could have been there could have been more clarity about what's happening in right. this academic year definitely if it, but it, I think we should I think we should come back to this and give the audience some music and I think oh um, okay I think we'll come back to that after after a couple of songs okay but we should also have a we should also do we should also give the audience the time and it's the time it's 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 eight minutes uh, past eleven it's eight minutes past eleven and turn we'll, around towards the microphone John. it's eight minutes past eleven here on phonic fm 106.8 fm and uh www.phonic.fm if you're listening outside of the extra area because uh, you can only listen on the internet if you if you're listening outside the extra area because obviously we don't have the capability to for people to listen outside the extra area um, but it's 106.8 FM if you're listening in the extra area and uh, www.phonic.fm if you're listening outside of the extra area.